But now on to our station wagon. While it may not have been invented here, the station wagon is perhaps the most American of cars. It's a staple of family life and has remained a solid success story for Detroit. For the Japanese, though, the station wagon market has been a pretty tough nut to crack, partly because larger station wagons aren't very popular in Japan. Small vans seem to fill oriental family hauling needs. But now it seems the Japanese have changed their philosophy. As part of its redesigned Camry series, Toyota has introduced this new mid-size station wagon, and it looks like the best nutcracker yet. What do you do when it comes time to redesign one of the most trouble-free and popular import car lines in the land? Well, if you're Toyota and the nameplate reads Camry, you act cautiously. Toyota had to enhance the Camry's appeal, but at the same time keep its reputation for reliability. This is one of Toyota's solutions, a new station wagon body style. The Camry wagon follows the Camry four-door still conservative styling, but only up to the last straight door pillar. The hindquarters depart into sweeps and curves that almost form a smile. Maybe the Camry knows its posterior looks like nothing else on the road today. The Camry isn't totally new, but only the chassis dimensions are shared with last year's car. The body is both longer and wider than before, with almost every extra millimeter going to increase interior room. As usual for Toyota, fit and finish is excellent. Aft entrance is gained by a walk-under hatch, although we wish the window opened separately for loading small items. The floor is wide and the rear seat splits and folds to provide a little or a lot of long, flat cargo space. People space up front is generous and much more upmarket than last year. The handsome dash features pod-mounted controls for the driver and nearly full-width air vents. The deeply hooded instrument cluster is virtually glare-free and, on our deluxe model, sporting only a modest array of readouts. Top LE models can be ordered with a digital gauge package. We found the front entrance way wide, if a bit low. The front buckets on our car were covered in an attractive gray tweed material. Seat support is good, and once you figure out how to adjust the standard tilt steering wheel, Virtually every driver should be able to find a proper driving position. All Camrays come with Toyota's automatic seat belts to meet front passive restraint requirements. It beats stationary door hinge belts by a mile. The rear doors are a little narrow, but the back bench is easy enough to reach. Older Camrays were short on shoulder room for three adults. The new car is better. But as with too many cars these days, the rear windows don't go all the way down. Power is another unusual aspect of the new Camry. Toyota saw fit to install its new twin cam 2 liter engine in all models. With 16 valves and multi-port fuel injection, it generates 115 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque. That's 25% more horsepower and 20% more torque than before. Despite the engine's complexity, it makes a neat front drive fit, with fluid checks and spark plugs easy to reach. Only the belts look tough to fix. Transmissions include a standard 5-speed, or as on our car, a 4-speed automatic. There is a shift indicator on the dash, and you can lock out the top overdrive gear. The electronically controlled gearbox also has power or economy modes for shift points. Those settings actually made little difference in our acceleration test, but the 16-valve engine sure did. Getaway is almost exciting, especially for a wagon. Times from 0 to 60 averaged 11.4 seconds, or 2 seconds faster than the last Camry automatic we tested. The quarter mile result was also quite reasonable at 18.3 seconds at 77 miles per hour. While no sports car, you could make a good case for calling the Camry Japan's first mid-size sports wagon. We had a chance to drive various models at both the demanding mid-Ohio racing circuit and on our own slalom course. Its all-independent suspension produces mild front-end plow. The long, lightly loaded rear follows obediently. The steering is a bit slow, but has more resistance and feel than before. However, we could beat the power steering boost with fast wheel cutting. It's a safe yet capable car, wagon or not. Then there are the brakes. In past, our biggest source of Camry criticism. Unfortunately, they haven't improved all that much. While they seemed fine on a race course, they were too easy to lock in our stopping test and had more than a normal amount of fade. However, stops were straight and much shorter than past Camrys we've tested, with a good average of 120 feet from 55. So while braking is improved, it casts a shadow on the rest of the car. But the Camry will maneuver in other cars' shadows. 
A 36-foot turning circle for this size of front drive car is very good. Parking is a breeze. And as you breeze down the highway, only a wisp of wind noise produces a luxury car sound level of only 64 decibels at a constant 55. So now you can almost hear the Camray sip gas at the EPA rates of 25 city and 31 highway, or at a most respectable test loop rate of 28 miles per gallon. Yet there is one more problem, price. Toyota cars, like all Japanese imports, have been hit hard by the falling dollar. Our modestly equipped deluxe model cost $13,600 before dealer markup. You can probably buy a comparably equipped U.S. wagon for a couple of grand less. But nevertheless, we found a lot to like on the Toyota Camry wagon. From its looks outside to its comfort inside, this is a first-class effort. The Camry 16-valve engine is a delight, and its handling is well above average for its class. So is its very versatile cargo ability. Misses include a rear window that doesn't go all the way down, and a hatch window that doesn't open at all, and a lack of full analog instrumentation. We must also include a somewhat higher than expected price and a too easy to lock up braking system. On our safety check, the Camry wagon scores four out of five with standard steel radial tires, halogen headlamps, five mile per hour bumpers, and passive front seat restraints. It lacks only rear shoulder belts for a clean sweep. And we do think that the new Toyota Camry wagon is going to sweep a lot of buyers off their carports. Yes, it might be considered expensive for its breed. But when you look at what the Camry offers and add in its trouble-free heritage, we think import-oriented families will gladly pay the difference. <laughs>